And tonight with that major winter storm moving across the country, starting in the West Coast and slamming into the heartland as we come on tonight and heading to the East Coast, D.C., Philly, New York and Boston in the bullseye. At this hour, more than 100 million people under winter weather alerts. Heavy snow in the mountains, semis under several feet of snow in Truckee, California, near the Nevada border. It gets into Indiana and Ohio tomorrow and it weakens somewhat. The coastal lows take shape during the day tomorrow. D.C., Baltimore, you really get it tomorrow afternoon. Philly tomorrow night, New York then into Monday and uh, Tuesday somewhat. Some rain mixing in all along the coastline. That'll keep some of the, uh, the numbers down as far as accumulation go, but high winds and, and, and accumulations that could exceed 10 inches in some spots in Pennsylvania. So expecting anywhere from about 1 a.m., the earliest on the western and southern portion of the area, to about 3 to 5 a.m., on the latest for the arrival time here. How much are we gonna see? It's a pretty decent snowstorm. This is a widespread four to six inches or so, less towards the south where you have more mixing and rain, more likely somewhere in the middle here, Caddis, Steubenville, the Route 22 corridor, where some spots could see eight to 10 inches at least fall from the sky. And for the evening, another good round of snow with temperatures below freezing allowing for good accumulation. You can see that swath there back into the Chicagoland area, the heaviest portion of the storm right in portions of Pennsylvania, Jersey, up into New England. So this is a wide scale winter weather event. Here's the snow as it moves through and we'll see those temperatures again stay below freezing until we get well into the morning hours tomorrow, then a little bit of that mixing is possible. This is just one model. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be full on rain north of I-70 here. But then we'll see more snow really expand as we go into Sunday night into Monday morning. More bad road conditions there for your commute. And then during the day Monday, things start to break up a little bit. But we're not going to lose all the rain or the snow chances, especially until early Tuesday. 26 for tonight, just expecting about 1 to 2 inches by the 8 a.m. hour. A little breezy, but I'm not expecting really blowing and drifting snow. 33 for tomorrow, sleet and rain will mix in at times, but rounds of snow could allow for a slushy inch or two during the day and then another swath there coming tomorrow night. So we lose this system finally by Tuesday. It stays pretty cold the middle of the week. Maybe we can actually have a couple rain showers by the end of the work week.